Well, Mark, we finally got a hold of you after yeah. these amazing celebrations. Another win, and of course, wonderful moments with the supporters. Yeah, I think first of all, a tremendous performance from us. Although, for 99.5 maybe percent of the people, I thought it was an incredible footballing performance. And I'd like to say we're going to play even more football if I've got anything to do with it. And I just think that's the way the game should be played. I don't want to make it a lottery. Of course, we're going to give balls away in rubbish areas at times, but you see the amount of chances we created today. We, we could have scored 10 or should have scored 10. Um, brilliant scenes at the end. Nice to go out at, uh, in our final home game with a real convincing win. Um, and the scenes at the end are, I just said to the boys there, it's a shame it's not like this every year, but let's try and... Let's try and make that the thing. I mean, you were so dominant, weren't you? Even going 1-0 down early on, the goal was always coming. Yeah, yeah it's probably the best thing could have happened to us, really, going behind, but I never felt too panicked or worried, and, and it was just to trust the players implicitly to, to get it done. And like you said, he created a number of chances. There was a lovely moment, Alex Fisher scoring in front of the Thatcher's Gold stand after his horror injury yeah. just felt like it was meant to be yeah fish has come back and he's he's um he's scored some goals that has, that's helped us to get over the line he's a great he's a great bloke you know experienced professional and, and he will enjoy that first promotion in, in england for him i mean a lot of your players this is the first promotion are you going to say to them to just drink it in and enjoy it they don't come around very often they've crossed they've crossed over the line today or last week a lot of them have now got a, a p or a c next to their cvs which as a manager, you know, you look at this, you look at these kind of things and is he a winner? Can he, can he go forth and can he step across the bridge when he needs to? We've now got a few that can and whether they're here or whether it's elsewhere, you can never take that promotion off them. You said to me last season at Wrexham that you felt like you had the core mm. of a squad that could compete in this division. They've more than done that. How happy are you with the players that you've put together for this title win inside? Talk's cheap, isn't it? But I knew that if someone would give me the uh, opportunity to, to put a squad together. I knew I could do it. I've done it at all the levels in the National League. So uh, Leona came in and, and he backed us to, to go and put a good squad together. And, uh, and we've done that. And it just shows you if, if you people come to a club and you trust people that know what they're doing, not trust people that don't know what they're doing, you have a chance to succeed. If you get it wrong, you get ready yet. One game left. How do you manage enjoying that last game, enjoying the celebrations? I'm sure we'll go on to the early hours and looking ahead to the National League next season. Can't wait to go to Dover on a Saturday, five whatever hours it is. <laughs> but we're going to go and try and win. I said on, I don't know if you saw the video on mm. the other night, I said we're desperate to win this game today and go out in style at home. Um, and, and we did that and we'll be desperate to go to... Um, to Dover and get three points so you know we might have an op opportunity to play some of the boys that are coming back from injury or have not played a lot and, and freshen it up you've got some boys in there that ran 13k on Thursday and would have ran 13k again today at a real high intensity so like I said we've got some worries in there and uh, we need to add to that in the summer and add add wisely and get get the right characters into the club as you say, that could be 95 points. I mean, that is a job well done, isn't it? It could be 98 if I had my way. But the National League have uh, made a horrendous decision. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we want to go out with as many as we can get. So you would have wanted to play that way with game between now and the end of the season? 100%. We were going to take the staff to play it if we had to. Um, so we're cleared by the FA of any wrongdoing but we're still deemed to be at fault that the game got called off. So they're basically saying that we got the lady ill. We made the air ambulance land on the pitch and it was our fault that there was no time resolution as to when we were going to start the game again. So I don't know where the fault is, but I think it just shows the National League what they are at this season. It's been a complete shambles. Yeah, I mean, a lot of teams still have a lot of games to play, don't they? I mean, it's two weeks till the end of the season, a week till the end of the season. Yeah, and... Uh, and we didn't just spend our money on players, we spent it on infrastructure, facilities to make sure that we got our games on. Um, it's all right spending loads of all the money you've got on your playing squad. If you can't play the, the games in winter, it doesn't matter. So on that, how ready do you feel like this club is for the National League now? 
Oh, it's, it's a tough, tough league. We need some real, um, like you say, we've got a nucleus of a good, good squad. I have to be uh, ruthless at times and, and do the best thing for the club moving forward. And we need to sign five or six really good players that are going to complement that group because um, they deserve they deserve that. Congratulations. Enjoy the celebrations. Thank well. you. Thank you very much. After last season and, and relegation, what does this promotion mean to you? I think it, it, will, it, it will never get that one promo, uh, relegation off my CV. Um, it means a lot because I, I, I felt a real sense of... Um, like I wanted to support the players that were still here. Um, and I wanted a chance to, to build the club. I liked what I saw, even in the dark times. I knew it could be a good club if we had the opportunity to, to build it. And the owner put his money where his mouth is and he's given us that chance. So it, th those dark times have been lifted now by the tremendous achievements and, and the players, I must say. The players and fans, amazing. And, you know, you've had to add through the season and you've brought players in. Just how important were the likes of Michael Smith, Joe Day, even players like Sam Pearson who've come in later in the day, those sort of players? Of course, and then you see when we lose them. You know, if you look to our team and Braintree, uh, Slough, that team would be in a bottom 10 budget. Players actually on the pitch without Whittle, without Hyde, without Murphy, without Michael Smith. Those those players on the pitch, a lot of young players, you know, Jamari Clark, Brooklyn Genesini, a lot of young players on the pitch. So that, you know, people will talk about our budget, but. It's all right having loads and loads of money and being the favourites to win the league like Torquewa, but you have to make sure you use that money wisely and I think that's what we've done. Well done. Thank you.